Hi, I'm Rich Workman, and welcome back to my video blog. Got a few things to cover this, this fine day. We've got uh, unemployment compensation passed the Florida House last week. Unemployment compensation reform included things uh, as commonsensical as no employee that was fired for cause, maybe they showed up high in the work or were arrested, can, will be eligible for unemployment in this state. No brainer there. Uh, also, we tied the number of weeks that uh, somebody is eligible for unemployment compensation to the rate of unemployment. So the, the higher the rate of unemployment is, the longer the weeks. These are all common sense things that will both save our businesses money and make sure that the, per the person that has earned unemployment gets it. Um, so that unemployment compensation reform passed the House last week. Look forward to seeing the governor sign that very soon. Uh, this week, my committee, uh, the Military and Local Affairs Committee, will be passing out a uh, huge growth management reform bill. I've been working on this bill for about five weeks. It's been a very arduous task. Uh, we took a look at um, growth management from top to bottom and we completely rewrote the statutes. Let me tell you what I've learned. You don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry and you don't write growth management laws in a boom because you just you end up with something you don't need in the cart. And that's what we had. We had a whole state of we don't needs uh, in our growth management platform. So we completely rewrote it. I transferred most of the power from the state back down to where it needs to be which is at the local level with our cities or counties. Um, a little bit of oversight just to make sure we coordinate between the regions as well as to protect our uh, natural resources like the Everglades as well as uh, uh, state areas of importance like airports and uh, military bases. So that pension, look for that, excuse me, not pension, look for that growth management reform to come into the Military Local, Local Affairs Committee this week. It's a pretty large package. Uh, should start to make some controversy as hopefully no one's going to be happy with it except for you the citizen who is going to get uh, the growth management reform that you deserve. Lastly, um, many of you know I filed a pension reform bill last week. My pension reform bill is um, geared to make the private sector pensions look a lot like the public sector pensions. With one exception, I don't think that there's a, a comparable, anything comparable to our police and fire in the private sector, uh, so we've left their qualifier the same. We've also left their uh, in the line of duty disability the same. We have taken away nothing. My bill takes away nothing from anybody. So you've earned it, you keep it. That's important. We have added a 5% contribution from the employee. I think that's only fair. That only, only mirrors uh, what you see in most private sector pensions. Um, and I expect a lot of uh, testimony on that. I expect perhaps that could change. Uh, but that's certainly where we're going to start with that bill. Um, pension reform is never easy, uh, but it's something we have to do for this day. Now is the time. This election was clear. Um, get in there and get your, get your feet muddy and make sure that we do what's right by the citizen, um, and that's what we're doing. So I look forward to the comments on pension reform and um, uh, growth management reform. This week is going to be a pretty heavy week. You can contact me with email at rich at richworkman.com. Don't forget I have a T in my name, R-I-T-C-H, at richworkman.com. You can blog with me at myfloridavoice.com. That's myfloridavoice.com. Or you can check me out on my website at uh, richworkman.com. Look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to maybe seeing you in Tallahassee. Thank you very much and God bless.